ஐஸ் ஆர் நாட் ஹியர் பை ரஸ்கின் பாண்ட் ரஸ்கின் பாண்ட் வாஸ் பார்ன் இன் நைன்டீன்த் மே நைன்டீன் தேர்ட்டி ஃபோர் He is an Indian author. Skinborn has authored more than 500 short stories, essays and novels, which include 64 books for children. He was awarded the Sagitya Academy Award in 1992 for Our Tree is Still Growing in Dehra. He was awarded the Batma Shri in 1999 and Batma Vibhushan in 2014. A narrator got himself a compartment up to Rohana. Then a girl got in the train. The couple sent her off where her parents were. and they instructing her where to keep her things not lean out of the window and don't speak to strangers the parents said their goodbyes and the train started to move a man sitting in the train was totally blind that time and his eyes sensitive only to light and darkness he heard her sound of the slipper to discover something about her looks he liked her voice even the sound of the slipper He asked her is she going to Dehra. He gave a little exclamation and said she didn't know anyone else was here. Narita thought to himself that people with a good eyesight fail to see what right in front of them. Maybe they have too much to take in. She said she is getting down at Saharanpur. Her aunt is waiting for her. Narita said then it is better not to be familiar and ants are usually the strongest creature. She also asked where he was going. Narita said he is going to Dehra and to Mussoorie. The girl wished that she was going to Mussoorie too. She loved the hill, mainly in October. Narita also saying October is the best time. Hills are covered with wild dahlias. The sun looks super fresh. At night, we can sit in front of the fire. The road were almost quiet. It definitely the best time. When she went silent, Narita was so curious that what made her so quiet whether is she get a bad impression about him he asked her what is it like she answered straight away why don't he look out of the window himself that made his doubt clear that she didn't find anything about him narrator moved to face the window he heard the sound of the engine he could see the telegram post flashing by his mind eye he making a conversation with her like asking or telling the fact narrator said that did she ever notice the tree moving while we staying still when she asked did he see any animal out he said no very confidently because he know there is hardly any animal near dehra after a silence he praising her with a comment she having an interesting face She laughed at his command because most of the people called her pretty but this is the first time someone calling her has a interesting face Then the narrator informed that they will be soon in her station she is so happy that it is a small journey she also complaining that she can sit in the train more than 2 hours but narrator was ready to sit there almost any length of time as long as she was there she describing her voice sparkling mountain stream when she left the train she may forget the encounter but that will remain with the narrator rest of the journey or maybe sometime after the girl began to pack her things and the narrator was so curious that how she tied her hair which she tied her hair in a sir bun or a plate and also how beautiful she is the train drew slowly in the station she said her goodbye and she was standing so close to the narrator he can smell her perfume he wanted to touch her hair with his hands but she moved away and only her perfume still in where she should there was a little confusion in the doorway and narrator heard the apology then the door was shut narrator went to his berth once again and the train gathered its speed and he was facing the window and staring the daylight that was darkness for him then he heard the new traveler came close to his seat and said it may be disappointing to him because he is not pretty as his last traveler the new traveler asked narrator that didn't he notice that the narrator asked about the girl's hair it is long or short the new traveler replied that he didn't notice her hair it was the eyes he noticed 
It was so beautiful, but they were no use to her. She wasn't blind.